Hey you guys, welcome to my bi, I'm sorry, not bi-weekly, <laughs> my Venus Do Sign series. This is for Venus in Leo. Um, so if in your birth chart, Venus is sitting in the sign of Leo, this is for you. Uh, please, those of you that are new to this, don't be intimidated by that. Just, it's easy to find out where your Venus is sitting. And it gives you more information and detail about your uh, relationships. So uh, you can pause this video and go to any free astrology website such as astral.com. Um, enter your birth information. It's going to ask you for the time, day, and location. You don't have to know your exact birth time to find out where Venus is at. You can put 12 uh, p.m. and that's fine. Um, but it's going to generate a free birth chart for you. And if in your birth chart Venus is sitting in a sign of Leo, this is for you. Um, and also, uh, sometimes both your sun and Venus can be sitting in the same sign. That is fine. It's okay. This still would apply to you. All right. So um, I have already shuffled and cut the cards. Let's go ahead and begin here. I want to thank all of you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. And I ask that you please continue to do so. Thank all of you that have hired me to do your personal readings. And overall, I appreciate all the love and support that you guys have shown to me in my channel. So thank you. All right, so you guys, starting off with the heart of the situation, we have the Temperance, the Two of Swords, Two of Wands, Seven of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, the Moon, Chariot, and the Princess of Wands. So the central issue here, I feel like you guys have been torn about a decision. Like maybe one minute you made up your mind and you knew exactly what direction you wanted to go in or you knew the person that you wanted to uh, go after or be with. And then, um, I don't know, then there there's stagnation or maybe you suddenly said oh I can't decide I can't um, but there is the element of having to make a choice uh, or having to trust your intuition about a matter um, maybe for some of you you're trying to leave it up to the universe I'm also feeling like for some of you, you could be hiding your emotions or the person that you're dealing with is hiding how they feel about you here. But I'm feeling like someone is in the dark or sometimes they feel like they're in the dark here. For some of you, I feel like you intuitively know that someone has been watching you or checking out your page. So maybe you block them or maybe they blocked you because something told them to. But I, I'm getting the feeling about of someone ha feeling like maybe they need to take some sort of risk um, to get to what they want or to get to where they need to go here. And there is going to be healing that takes place for some of you. Now, also, I'm, I'm feeling like some of you, this is about two different people coming together, two people who are completely opposite, whether that is in regards to uh, finance, um, what do you call it, um, social status, um, race, religion, whatever. There could be two different energies, but when you guys come together, um, is is very natural. It, it, it's, it's like perfect synastry. The, the conversation flows with ease. There's not a struggle. And overall, there's just a, a high level connection that you could be having with someone. It doesn't matter if you're in already in this relationship. If you're already in a relationship, it's like this spiritual connection that you have with your partner. There's something very um, telepathic about it. Um, yeah, it's just a very spiritual connection. And those of you that are single is still someone that you may be 
daydreaming about or um, someone that you're longing for. And even though there's not much communication between the two of you, there's that that unspoken chemistry here. You can feel it. You can sense it and you both feel it and you both sense it's mutual. So there is a mutual attraction between you and another person, um, whether they show it to you or not. They might be trying to cover it up. They might not want you to know how they feel or maybe it's you. Maybe you're the one that wants to protect how you feel about this person and, and you're just very guarded, um, very protective of your feelings here. Now, again, uh, those of you that are Leo, I know a lot of of uh, spiritual energy has been coming out in your readings and I'm picking that up in this as well. I'm picking up a lot of people who are very intuitive, people who have premonitions, people who are psychic, people who have some sort of gift. Uh, I'm I'm seeing that in this reading too. Now, it doesn't, you don't have to be a Leo, but I'm just saying uh, for the past couple of weeks, I feel like I've been picking up a lot of spiritual energy with Leos or Leos who are having a very deep and spiritual connection with whoever they are with here. And again, I am definitely seeing some sort of opposite energies here. But you guys, I don't know, when you guys come together, there is this energy that is unexplainable and sometimes the connection is so deep is is scary because it's like we don't understand why do I feel what you feel why do I see what you see why am why am I so connected with this person and this person doesn't understand the connection that is with you either and I feel too that's because you guys together do manifest like an intense energy that is very spiritual and maybe even other people can sense like they're like why aren't you two together because you know I can feel the the energy between the two of you you guys need to be together and I'm seeing one person might be light and one person might be dark whether that is the fear physical appearance appearance or someone's personality like someone is more maybe shadowy or hidden or quiet and the other person is more outgoing and vocal um but it's like two opposites that connect well and also for me this is about someone being connected with someone to help you bring out your hidden qualities you guys are there to 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 be a mirror for each other. So it's the same energy for me as the lovers cards whenever I see the moon and with the temperance here. I'm getting the dark and in, in, in the light, the yin and the yang. Um uh what do you duality? I'm just getting duality uh between the two of you. Each person you one person holds a, a characteristic or a trait that the other person needs to bring out of themselves and you guys are just uh, there to shadow each other or to reflect each other because you're not there are things about yourself that you may not be aware of and this person brings it out of you and sometimes that's scary because it goes back to um, maybe past issues from it could be from your childhood it could be from your experiences they're they're bringing those feelings out of you you might be someone who suffers from abandonment issues or someone who um has a fear of commitment whatever that is those challenges are this person is here to help you face them um and things that you could have been in, in denial about about your personality look to the other person because is this way you can't point the finger this person is nothing but a reflection of your deep subconscious um personality or traits they're reflecting that back to you i hope that makes sense to those of you sometimes i know i can get like really out there and metaphysical but that is basically what i'm feeling like this person 
you are pro or you could also be projecting your insecurities or your fears or your doubts onto this person so don't do that don't project your fear like don't keep saying oh i bet this person is going to leave me i bet this person isn't going to stick around i bet they're lying to me this is too good to be true whatever all those doubts are the more you keep projecting it onto that person it's going to observe uh, ob absorb into them and they will end up becoming the thing that you fear the most so this is pay attention to your thoughts because this is to show you that there is power in thought now also here with the seven of wands i feel like for some of you you could be feeling like you need to set some sort of boundaries um or there are some challenging times ahead um whether you're in a relationship or not, it could be outside forces that kind of get in the way of your relationship. Um, or it could be uh, make sure that you're not self-sabotaging your relationships as well. Um, but I'm seeing, I'm seeing your guards go up. Are you feeling maybe very guarded like something is a threat to your existence or a threat to your lifestyle or something. Um, also, for some of you, this is about competition, being in competition with someone um, and feeling like you something belongs to you, so you fight for it. So it could be that you feel like your relationship is threatened uh, by an outsider and so you, you're your intuition goes up or your your senses go up but then at some point that you become your imagination runs wild and you start imagining things that aren't really happening um you could be dealing with a taurus virgo capricorn this person could be in their 40s or older also that could be your energy but again, here we have defenses, defenses going up and someone being very guarded, someone who is so deeply wounded that they just the minute they feel start to feel something, they're like, uh, -uh I, I'm this person is not about to walk all over me. They're not going to break my heart. I'm not going to allow anyone to get that close to me here. Dang it. I keep forgetting to set the timer. Um. So yeah, someone is becoming very emotionally guarded um, when they feel like this person triggers something within them um, or this person triggers something within you where you feel like you need to protect yourself. You need to protect your home. Um, you need to protect your emotions. And also for some of you, this is again about something in relation to dreams. Now you have to face your fears. If you keep receive, receiving some sort of repetitive message in your dreams, instead of being afraid of it, you need to analyze it and face it and deal with it. Especially if it's something from your past or something, some sort, if you're suffer, suffering from some sort of anxiety or phobias, um, or anything that you may be in denial about, you need to deal with that and face it head on because once you face your fears, they have a tendency to just dissipate. They, they're they going away. Um, it's, it's like that, you know, that monster in your dream, it keeps coming and every time you scream and run, you know, it, gets, it feeds off your fear and gets bigger and bigger. Um, but the minute you learn how to take control of that dream and you're just like, I'm not afraid of you anymore, you know, that doesn't scare me anymore that takes away the monster's power so then this is something that i feel like you need to do in regards to your your love life um and for some of you you're you're learning or discovering something new about yourselves um and you're curious to pursue it you're you want to go after your dreams if something has been going you or holding you back from pursuing your dreams in regards to something creative like maybe everybody told you it's unrealistic to, to move to a different state or it's unrealistic for you to become an actor or a writer or to live all make a living off of sculpting things or whatever the case 
this is you kind of saying, no, I'm I'm doing this. I don't care what you say. This is what I'm passionate about. I made up my mind and I'm going after it. There's nothing that anybody can say. And this is you uh, having victory over your enemies or, uh, you know, having the strength to go against your enemies. So this is you not being uh, afraid. And so you are going to take a stand uh, up for whatever, take a stand to whatever it is that you have insecurities or fears about here. And you're learning something new about yourself. Now, for some of you, you could be interested in someone and you might take a risk and you're like, okay, I'm going to approach them or I'm going to flirt with them. I'm going to let them know that I'm interested in, in them. But at the same time, kind of being guarded about it, but kind of testing the waters. Now, also, that could be someone's energy towards you as well. Um, so, um, again, with fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Uh, also, air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius could be showing up. You could be dealing with... Um, this is again someone kind of reaching out someone could be afraid of rejection but they're going to take a risk anyway whether that's you or this other person um and whoever is taking the risk i feel like the other person is going to be guarded like um you know like what what's your intent what are your intentions like this person might be hard to crack open or they have trust issues here. So their guards go up and they, they're trying to like look at you and observe you and just really see, are you telling the truth? Are you a, a man or a woman of their word? Um, here too, with the high priestess, this is uh, having to go within, going within your, uh, using your intuition. Again, I feel like some of you, there is something very psychic or telepathic going on with many of you you might be receiving some sort of messages or warnings about something um there's going to be an opportunity that comes into your life here um yeah some of you are bearing some secret that is very deep um hmm yeah, there, there's a very deep secret that some of you are keeping or someone else is keeping. There is something that is buried that they don't want to deal with. And an opportunity is going to be come about for you to share that or express that, um, especially if you have to do it in a creative way through your art. Uh, or if you channel that into some sort of sport, boxing, I don't know, this is going to be something that helps you um deal with these deep rooted subconscious fears or whatever um i'm seeing confidence grow within a lot of you you're becoming passionate about something um and once you are ready like opportunities are going to start showing up everywhere you're going to see signs synchronicities and all these doors are going to open up for you uh, I do feel like eventually you're going to be in a place where you're very comfortable with your life. You're very uh, comfortable with yourself. Um, also, your confidence is very attractive to someone. So someone is very attracted to you and your sense of loving yourself, caring for yourself. They're like, man, this person takes care of themselves. Uh, they smell good. They they wear nice clothes. They're very fashionable. So you are either looking at someone like this or this is how someone is, is viewing you. So someone could be observing you from a distance. Yeah, again, I'm getting distance here. Those of you that are dating, I feel like you are putting yourself out there, uh, trying to open up, uh, just getting, you know, testing the waters and, and getting back, back out there and meeting people. Um, even if it is like a heavy burden for you, even if it's something that's hard for you to do, you're like, I, I got to get over this. I got to get over this hurdle if I want to meet people. So you're definitely... Um, even though this is something that is weighing you down heavily, that you, this is you kind of stepping out from the shadows and uh, taking some sort of risk, not being afraid to make a fool out of yourself or whatever, to be vulnerable. You're, you're preparing yourself uh, to get out there and date again. Um, those of you that are in relationships, um, this is you just overall just kind of dealing with 
um, any type of insecurities that you are having uh, with your partner here. And for some of you, I'm seeing something unusual happen. Like those of you that are in established relationships, there's someone, there's a, an outsider or a third party that is looking out at what you have and they're desiring what you have. And your your instincts may be right about that. Um, so sometimes you kind of watch your partner's behavior or you're asking them, you become very suspicious of their, their, uh, their uh what do you call it whereabouts um you might find yourself questioning them like where did you go and trying to see if things match up like where did you go um you know what time are you going to be back home you know things of that sort so i'm seeing someone too just kind of trying to juggle two different relationships or dealing with some on off again energy at some point um and then for some of you, it's like you're staying in a relationship out of obligation um, because it's the right thing. You feel like it's the right thing to do. But at the same time, you are being tempted to step outside the relationship here. It's like you want to. You're curious about it. And you're like, should I risk stepping outside of the relationship? And you're very undecided. And you're just kind of going back and forth, back and forth. Like, should I or shouldn't I? Um and I feel like, too, maybe this is something that has happened in a past where you went back to an ex or you had a habit of of uh, trying to juggle more than one person. But I feel like, too, the Two of Pentacles is trying to make sure that you don't make a mistake or make a foolish decision as well. But there is definitely some sort of confusion that you may be going through or your partner may be going through. If you're just simply dating, you're just kind of confused about what it is that you truly want in a partner. So, I mean, just take your time to get to know each person. You don't you shouldn't have to feel like you're rushing into any type of relationship um, so, you know, because you don't want to make another mistake, you're looking at your past mistakes and you don't want to repeat that. All right. So you guys, this has been a general reading. I hope it did resonate. Um, remember for a private reading to email to matt76 at gmail.com. That information is in the description box below. Uh, you guys don't forget to like, share and subscribe and leave your comments. Thank you for watching. Many blessings to you.